Welcome back to Hello Reaper tutorial 1F. We're talking about basic editing in this tutorial. We're going to concentrate on one item. I'm going to show all the commands on this item. So I'm going to zoom in on this item. That's the one we will look at. So not knowing the shortcuts yet, we have been talking about the context menu. So by pressing uh, control or right click with your mouse, you get into all those commands like splitting, undo, or split items at time selection, undo. So you get all those edits I'm going to show you now with the shortcuts you get also through the context menu. I think getting fast in editing is key to doing a quick sound edit and get quick results. So I think that's uh, some of the shortcuts you need to learn first. So doing a split is with a B undo. Trim, the left part, is A, undo. Trim, the right part, is S. Perform a fade can be done here by dragging the, the right upper part or the left upper part. The lower part also trims my selection. Performing a fade, I prefer not uh, dragging here, it takes me too much time. I just go into where I want to end the fade, press D, undo or G. So B is a split, a is uh, trimming to the left, trimming to the right is S. Trim a time selection is done like this. So I choose my time selection, I press Shift B. So I have two, uh, two edits now. If I want to trim it, I press Command T. Uh, so Command T is deleting the left and right part out of the selection. Undo, a few undos. So copying a, a, an item, you perform by pressing Command and copy it to, the, to your new uh, uh, track or wherever you want to put it. You can also, of course, drag it on the same track to somewhere else. As you might have seen, when I drag it on top of an existing object, I get automatically a crossfade. That's also set in the preferences. Uh, I think you could keep it like that because it's really handy. Then color an item, command option C. Okay. Uh, command option C. I use this quite often when I, for example, I have uh, different folies in an edit. So if, if those were folies, I would press control, select all of them, press command option C, then put it in a color. And now maybe one of those is still a voice which I have placed on this track. Then I can go into this track and with the same shortcut option command C do it yellow. Of course you would not necessarily mix voices and, uh, and folies as we've heard before because in film uh, sound post-production you have different categories and one of them are the folies. Foley's are the, the sync sounds for our protagonists and actions they perform. 
So all the footsteps, all the presents, uh, clothes, handling, I don't know, an item like this on the table, whatever. That's all uh, Foley's and voices go in another category. But still, I think this shortcut is really handy. For example, this would be water. Uh, maybe I have 10 waters here, so I could put them in blue color, which helps me find my way around using the, the color schemes. Okay, uh, of course I can also do the track color, go in the, in the context menu, track color, we've already seen it, I'm gonna show it again. Now, what happens? Because I already have some tracks with a specific color, it won't select the new color I've chosen for the track, but let's see on the others. Uh, okay, all the others which have not a specified color yet, they go to the same color as the track. So that's about track colors. I think these are really important also to find your way around to navigate in the session. Now, uh, sometimes I maybe have two versions of a sound, of a foley. Let's say that's another version and I have them placed underneath each other. I want to check the first one, so I press solo. Or there's a shor shortcut to select the whole track in solo mode, that's Shift S. So I'm gonna listen to the first sound I've, I've recorded. Thy soul shall find. Okay, I like this one, but maybe I like the other one even more. So I select my track, Shift S. Thy soul shall okay, find. Okay, this one I like more. So what I'm gonna do now is I select the item, I press Command M, and that's the mute, not for a track, but only for the item. Thomas. Is yes. there also a possibility to to like uh, do some sort of solo in place for uh, like uh, if you select one track solo and then select the next track solo only? Okay, what is what is solo in place and what is the the, the regular solo? The regular solo is you press one track, it solos. You press the other one, it solos as well. Pressing. Option Command deselects all the other solos, only playing the one solo I want to hear. So oh, that's very handy. That's really handy. Of course, I can also use the solo in place for for more than one tracks by selecting the two tracks. So now, pressing Option Command, click on the solo. Of course, and now the, the two of them are selected. Check it out. Why doesn't it play? Because I have a mute here. Mid dark thoughts of the gray so now both of them are played. The crowd. Is there a way to get rid of all the solos with just one click? Ah, okay. So I will command and click in it. Thanks a lot, Jeroen. So, uh, what is important, find your way around quickly in the items. Find uh, a way how to edit your uh, items quickly. Because maybe I only want a quick part in here. Maybe I only want this part. So I can go in here, press A, press S, do little fade outs by pressing G and D. And listen. All the. All the. Oh, I don't need the D. So I can also drag it here. All. Now I have the all singled. Mm -hmm. So that's about it, about the basic item editing. We will continue by syncing a voice now to our movie track in the next tutorial 1G.